Now there are various sulfur reactors on the market that can be quite effective for um, reducing nitrate. Um, they aren't my choice. The reason why they're not my choice is that the sulfur really encourages the growth of not only anaerobic but anoxic bacteria. And anoxic bacteria is the one that discharges hydrogen sulfide, which is poisonous, which is the concern for old tank syndrome. So when you've got an area that just builds up lots of crap and then underneath it, you'll form an anoxic zone, the sulfur will really feed that. So if you move the rocks, there is a possibility of releasing that, sul that hydrogen sulfide into the environment and can kill the fish. So the things that you can do, besides not use a sulfur reactor, is there is a product called Aquarium Detox, which is sold out and that will um, provide bacteria from mud that doesn't actually, um, um, doesn't, that actually breaks up the um, anoxic zones. So makes, um, I guess the dead spots safe or temporarily reverses old tank syndrome. It does have to re be re applied every quarter. The other thing you can do is use polyfilter. So I would definitely use both and the polyfilter will adsorb the hydrogen sulfide out of the water as well. So if you are going to use a sulfur reactor, it would be my advice to consider using polyfilter and aquarium detox. If you search aquarium detox on this channel, I have lots of videos on aquarium detox because old tank syndrome is something that I come across every now and then. It's not terribly common but it is something that's devastating when it occurs you move the rocks kill all the fish um so anyway putting a little note on the bottom of this video have you used any of this equipment have you had any experience with it get involved